In this video, we look at finding tangential and normal lines to curves using differentiation. We've already talked about tangent lines to curves. Tangent lines are just lines that just barely scrape past and touch a curve at a specified point, like the red curve here on the diagram shown. A normal line is, as you might expect, one which is normal or perpendicular to the tangent line, intersecting the curve at the same point, kind of like the blue line here. So the tangent scrapes along the curve and the normal is perpendicular to that, curve, that line. Now remember that the derivative tells us the slope of the curve's tangent at any point. We can use this information and the location of that point to find an equation of the tangent line. We can use some other information about the relationship between the gradients of perpendicular lines to find the corresponding equation for the normal line. The process is very similar for both, and it's summarised here in this four-step process. The equations of the lines tangential and normal to a curve, given by f of x, at the point a, b, can be found as follows. First of all, we differentiate the function f of x, find the derivative f dashed, or if you like, dy dx. Next, we evaluate the derivative at the point a, b, so in other words, f dashed of a. Remember that this tells us the slope of the tangent line to the curve. The third step uses that information, so we need to determine the gradient. Now depending on whether we're finding the tangent line or the normal line, we need to get a different value of course. For the line tangent to the curve, m is just the derivative itself evaluated at a, b, so that's f dashed of a. For the normal to, to the curve, m is actually the negative reciprocal of the derivative at a, b. In other words, minus 1 over f dashed at a. Finally, we put this all together with the point-slope form for finding the equation of a line. The equation of the tangent or the normal, whichever it is, is given by y minus the y value b, the slope that we've just found, multiplied by x minus a. Let's try this out with this example. We're asked to find the equation of the lines tangential and normal to the curve y of x equal to x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 3. That's the black curve shown in the figure here. We're asked to find these, these lines specifically at x equals to 1. Now the tangent line to the curve at x equals 1 looks like it's going to have a positive slope, so we should keep that in mind when we get our results. On the other hand, the normal line through that point looks like it's going to have a negative uh, slope. So we can use that later to check what we've found. Now let's remember what the process was. First thing to do is to differentiate the function. Here we've got y of x equal to x cubed and so on. So dy dx will be 3x squared plus 4x times 2, which becomes 8x, take away 2, and plus 0. The second step says to evaluate that at the point of interest. We're interested at x equals 1. So dy dx at x equal to 1 is equal to 3 by 1, which is 3, plus 8 by 1 makes 11, take away 2 is 9. Now the third point in the process says that the tangent line's gradient will just be that derivative that we've just found. The normal line's gradient is negative 1 over that, over that slope. So we can write that the tangent's gradient is equal to 9, given right here, and the normal line's gradient will be minus 1 over 9. The last piece of information we need to know in order to use this formula, the point-slope form, is what is the y value when x is equal to 1. So we can write y of 1 and use the formula given in the question will be equal to 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3 which is 5 minus 2 is 3 plus another 3 is 6. So we have all the information we need the slope of the tangent, the slope of the normal and the point a, b. Looking back at the process, it tells us that the equation of, first of all, the tangent will be y minus b equal to the tangent slope x minus a. So we have y minus 6 equal to the slope of the tangent, 9, x minus a, which is 1. And now we simply rearrange this and write it in the normal y equals mx plus c form. So we have y equal to 9x minus 9 plus 6 will be minus 3. And we do the same thing for the normal line. It'll be y minus 6. This time the slope changes to minus 1 on 9. 
and again x minus 1. And rearranging, we have minus 1 on 9x, plus 1 on 9, plus another 6, will be plus 6 and 1 ninth. Or if you like, you can write that as 55 on 9, or a decimal equivalent. It doesn't really matter. Now just to do a quick check, we've got our negative gradient there for the normal line, which corresponds with what we thought in the picture back here. And then, of course, the positive gradient for the tangent line, again, corresponds with our picture. So that's finding normal and tangent lines to a curve at a given point. As usual, if you're looking at this in other texts, check out their section on tangents and normal to curves. Sometimes there'll also be some applications of this shown, and that might be also interesting to look at. Make sure you're attempting the exercises that are given in the worksheet as